Yeah. Sure. This one? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, let me know when. Hi, I'm Olympic artist Jesse Rodales, and I'm here on the set of Conflict of Interest, which is a uh, new movie, and it's a uh, wonderful movie, wonderful script, well written. It's about, uh, and they're using my art um, in the movie, uh, because one of the characters, the main characters, uh, is an artist. Uh, so my art is going to be featured in the movie Conflict of Interest, which is really cool for me. I'm really proud of that, and humbled, and, and honored for them to be using my art. Um, all work in the movie. Um, a little bit about the movie. Uh, the artist, he's an artist, I'm an artist, uh, so the similarities are there. Um, he's accused of being a tagger and he's really an artist. I have been accused of being a tagger in high school. When I'm an artist, I've never tagged anything in my life, so, um, but I did get accused of it just because I was affiliated with art, you know, being an artist. And a lot of people get confused with tagging and graffiti or tagging and art. You know, graffiti is more of an art form where tagging is you're destroying property. Uh, graffiti, you're beautifying something that, that was not attractive before and you try to make it attractive by making it beautiful. You know, you use walls or, or different, um, different backgrounds as your canvas. And uh, in the story, the artist is uh, he's beautifying what other people tag. There's taggers that tag, you know, like buildings or walls in his neighborhood, and he is basically going back behind the taggers and painting over it and painting some actual art over it and beautifying his, his community or his neighborhood. So um, the similarities there is you know, where I used to get accused of tagging and I really wasn't a tagger, I was an artist, and I did do a little graffiti here and there, but uh, there's a huge difference. Um, he's also going through a love affair uh, in the story, and you know um, I've had my, you know, my share of love affairs, um, and it's a wonderful story, wonderful movie. Uh, so I'm very honored and humbled to be having um, my artwork featured in this film. Uh, like again, uh, I'm Jesse Rodales, Olympic artist, and a lot of people don't know what what an Olympic artist is. To um, to to us as artists, that's like our Grammy or like our Oscar. That's the highest award we could, or achievement that we could accomplish as an artist. And um, basically, every Olympic year, artists from all over the world, from London, Africa, China, Korea, uh, Russia, everywhere, the United States, they submit their artwork. And there's only six artists selected for every Olympic Games to represent the Olympics. So out of these millions of artists that are su submitted, there's only six selected and they represent the Olympic Games, their artwork does. Um, Matisse has been an Olympic artist, uh, Peter Max, Jane Seymour, uh, Ernie Barnes, and, and so forth. Just great, wonderful artists. Um, I, was the, I was selected the 2006 Winter Olympic uh, artist, and um, I was the youngest artist ever selected. I was the second um, Olympic minority artist for the United States. Uh, Ernie Barnes was the first, and he passed away in 2009, so that just leaves me. I was also the only artist to ever have three paintings simultaneously, one Olympics ever in the history of the Olympics. And I painted my son's face um, for, the, for the Olympics. And I also received um, my Olympic uh, confirmation as an artist, as an Olympic artist, on my son's birthday, October 2013. So that's a little background and history about Olympic art um, and like again I said I'm, I'm blessed and honored to, to be you know have my art featured in this movie. How do you feel about working Yeah Tommy Ford is a wonderful uh, great friend of mine he's known me for years um, we worked on several uh, children's books together uh, we have a series of children's books and cartoon scripts that we're working on uh, for future projects, and uh, he's just a wonderful, genuinely great person. I always tell people out of all the celebrities I work with or that I know, you know he's the realest person that, that I would know out of all of them, and, and a true friend, a true, humble human being. Amen, glory God. This has been Eddie recording from an iPhone.
You will see this later, Jesse. Over and out.